for watching. I am Prerna Agarwal, technical product owner for The Guardian. Today, we will be giving you a Guardian update of Sprint 41, which lasted from June 12th to June 23rd. So just a quick overview of the agenda. We'll be looking at the roadmap. We'll also be talking about the issues that we tackled in Sprint 41. Then we'll be flipping over and giving you a short demo on Sprint 41. Then we'll also be looking ahead of week of June 26, which is Sprint 42. We'll also be talking about the upcoming releases. We'll also be giving you some of the ways that you can either submit bugs or policy requests through various different channels. So just a quick overview of the Guardian roadmap. Again, this is open source. Anybody can see that. All you need to do is install Zenab extension in Chrome. And when you travel to the Guardian GitHub repo, you will be able to see a tab to quickly open that up and see what's going on there. So as you can see, we are still continuing our work on GHGP corporate standard policy. We are working on the on-chain carbon token lifecycle rules. We are working on the Guardian Oracle service to verify tra token trust chain from them, and so on and so forth. So just a quick overview of what we covered in Sprint 41. So in Sprint 41, currently we committed to 43 story points and we delivered 40 story points, which includes 2236 policy trust chain discovery and display. 86 enhancing policy definition language, 1796 user driven MRV data interface, 2121 add standard registries detail view to user profile setup process, and so on and so forth. Now, let's look at the demo for Sprint 41. So, the first ticket what we'll be looking at is 2236, which is policy chain, trust chain discovery, and display. In 2075 ticket, we introduce the capability of linking inter independently executed policy into a chain. The execution of each link in such chains can be automatically triggered by the previous link. We are publishing a document of the type which has been configured to be the source for the link. Current visualization of the trust chain in Guardian does not support the action events and external policies. They are invisible to the current user operating on this instance of Guardian hosting the current policy link. So in order to solve this, we have actually changed our look and feel of the trust chain when it is related to the policy chain. So as you can see here, I have imported two policies, which is IRECT and source and IRECT and recipient. These policies, IPFS and the policies can be found in the methodology library repo in the Guardian repo. And when you travel there, you can click on IRECT. In the README, we have updated the IPFS uh, timestamps of each of the policy. And as you can see, we have added a new policy, which will actually give you a demo of the new trust chain. So I've imported both the IPFS timestamps policies over here. And I have actually executed both the policies. Now, once I execute both the policies, when I go to the trust chain of the IRECT and recipient, you will see the changes been done in the new trust chain. So as you can see, when I click on token history, when I click on view trust chain, as you can see here, this is a new look and feel of how you will see the uh, trust chain uh, related to the policy chain. As you can see, it actually gives you a quick view of what documents have been created by which of the policy and which documents are actually connected to the recipient policy. So this is a simplified look and feel of the trust chain. But if you want to see an advanced look and feel, you can click on the advanced tab where actually you can see all the steps, including the policy instance, user defined, and what which of the step has been assigned, executed at what are the timestamps, what is the date, and which of the policy have executed which particular step. So in order to get more information about this, you can go to our documentation and we have added an external and in detail integrating how to see and integrating external policies. And you can also check what are the external topic blocks we have been creating. So this was a quick overview over on 2236. Now, so the next ticket, what we'll be looking at is 1796, which is user-driven MRV data interface, the mobile support and branding. So due to the complexity of the Guardian at the moment, a complete mobile interface does not fulfill the needs of a user being able to fill out forms, input form information, and capture it on a mobile device. The ability for an entity to add to their white labeling to Guardian is missing. So this issue is a continuation of issue 1619, focusing on the addition of the branding page. 
now again going back to our guardian here we have added a new option a new drop down as branding so when i click on branding as you can see now we can change the look and feel of our ui for example by default the header color is black which is this the primary color of all the buttons are blue the company name is this so now i would like to just change this black color to something red so i would select red then the primary color i would just select some orange or black or gray and then i would just say guardian demo so as you can see the company name is just set for 11 characters so i would just say guardian de when i click on and moreover other than the colors you can also change the logo the picture and the fav icon so for now i would like to just keep this you also have a reset button and a preview button when i click on preview it just gives you what all changes you have made and if you are good you can just click on save or you can just click on reset and it will just get back to the default so this is a branding changes what we have done so the next ticket what i would be looking at with the ux perspective is 2119 which is currently after the user creates their username and password they are presented with a tough choice of selecting a standard registry completely in the dark with no information of what policies a selection of standard registries present their geography and the law by which they aid by so in order to solve this i would like to just log out and create a new uh, user which is vvb so now as you can see when i clicked on vvv it actually asked me to select the standard registry it, like we can have more than one standard registry and if you want that particular this particular user needs to be a link to that standard uh, registry you can select that and click on next you also have all the uh, filter by policy name geography so as i just have one standard registry i would also see which all the policies are already linked to the standard registry i can click on it select the standard registry and then click on next so when i click on next it actually asks me to generate the header credentials i click on generate it automatically just takes my credentials when i click on submit it just takes few seconds and then now as you can see now i am been linked to that particular standard registry which i selected with the same header id and the balance and then uh, i can start using this particular created user uh, in my other policies so that was a uh, ticket 2119 So that was a demo for Sprint 40. Now let's talk about some of the issues that we'll be tackling in Sprint 42. In Sprint 42, we are currently committing to 30 story, 33 story points, which includes 2144 policy service port in a use issue, 2097 policies imported by message ID don't contain tags in some cases, 2337 serials column and token history is not populated, 1666 GHGP policy, corporate standard policy. We'll be working on some of the enhancement and improvement of the documentation, which is 2348, and so on and so forth. So talking about the releases, our last release was on Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. Our next release will be on Friday, June 30th, 2023. So there are multiple ways to reach out to us. You can reach out to us on GitHub. You can submit policy request enhancements, or if you find some bugs, please go ahead and mention those bugs with us so that we can get our team on it. Also, if you haven't joined our Discord, come and join our conversation at hedera.com slash Discord. And when you get there, search for sustainability channel, or feel free to reach out to us directly if you have any policy request by emailing us at info at envisionblockchain.com or through our website, which is www.envisionblockchain.com. Thank you. Have a great day.